Oh, I think it's yeah. It's always you can do, always do anything better. No matter what the score is at halftime, you could always do things better. So I think it's in um, you know we just came in and, and said let's just let's just knock away at this lead and and um, and we did that. I thought the plan worked well. You know we took two penalties, got us back in striking distance. Suddenly the pressure the pressure in the game kind of turned a bit on them. Um, I thought our discipline in the second half was excellent. We only gave away probably one or two penalties. Uh, and then we, yeah, we got the opportunity, and, and there it was. And Dan broke, and Luke scored, and there's the game really. So, um, yeah, just just keep to what we we know we can do well, and you know, I thought we did that. Yeah, so it's a, it's a good day apparently. The boys have I uh, said it's a good fun trip down there, and um, obviously very different to what I'm usually doing in Christmas. I'm usually having a few beers and uh, some nice prawns in the sun down the beach and stuff like that. So um, yeah, for first kind of. Nice wintry Christmas here in Ireland, and um, but you know, there'll be no drinking on Christmas Day. Uh, but uh, yeah, looking forward to, to one of the big challenges. Well, the game's not till next Tuesday, is it? so we've still got seven days to do that. So I think um, probably really mentally stepping away because we've had probably what has been two weeks of pretty mentally exhausting rugby and um, high pressure stuff. I think so. The guys need to really step back from the game for a couple of days, and then when we come back. Come back in and get start getting prepared for that game. It's just you know, you know just trying to train as well as we can and, and just get ready for what is going to be a, a big and if not a more physical game than what we had over the last two weeks.